Hello everyone, I am back with another layout for my series. Um, let's do some challenges for the My Little Scrapbook Store um, online crop, Living Our Best Pumpkin Spice Life. So this was done last weekend, but you have until November 5th to submit entries for each challenge. And uh, previously I did a video for challenge two and I was going to go in order, but that is just not how my brain works. So we're gonna be jumping around to see where, however I am inspired. And this time I was inspired by, oh, am I missing one? By the, here it is, the color combo challenge. Number nine, use the color combo as the main colors for your project. And these are the colors. There's an orange, blue, green, and yellow. Now, when you're using these color combos, you can use various shades of these colors. Um, I have two photos that my brother sent me from my mom's birthday celebration with them. I don't, they live in Illinois. I live in North Carolina. So this was on her birthday and my brother sent me these photos and I absolutely love them. So I printed them in three by four and I'm using Amy Tan Slice of Life. And these are kind of my inspiration, these colors here. Now, I used a, one of the papers from the four by six or the six by eight pad this one to cut out these two colored stripes to go for the yellow and the orange colors. And then I just tr basically traced them and used a couple of the pattern papers from the collection to add the green and the blue colors. So those are gonna be where my color inspiration comes from. And I'm using this paper um, it is an older close to my heart paper, but I love because it had the yellow kind of grid background and I, I absolutely love a grid, grid design. So these arrows happen to fit perfectly in between these, uh, grid marks. So one, two, three, four, five, so six inches. I love how that worked out. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage as part of my design. And I'm gonna kind of put my arrows like such. And then my photos will be here. So basically the arrows will be pointing to my photos. Um, I think I want them more, I don't want them directly in the center of the page. I like for my design to be either in the lower one third or the upper one third of the design of the paper. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right there, how I have it there. I cut out some um, paper. This is another one of the pattern papers from, the, uh, what did I say, Slice of Life. And I'm gonna use that to back my photos. And I don't know how my brother got these fun little like icons. This one has the different hearts and then this one has the cute little birds on there. I am not technology savvy, so I don't know how he did that, but I think it's super cute. And the colors in this collection just really went well with the color saturation um, of these photos. So this is gonna be kind of our design. So let's get these put down and then I'm going to end up stitching through these arrows with some with my sewing machine and some black thread. So I will go off camera here in a moment and do that for y'all and then come back. I won't make you watch me do that, but I thought I would use the black thread because some of my embellishments do have uh, pull in some black and I just thought that would tie it all together. And I also didn't think the white would show up very well. So, 
hence why I decided on black. And if you don't have a sewing machine, you can certainly hand stitch this as well. It's definitely just a quick straight stitch, so nothing too difficult. I don't want to put too much adhesive because I am going to be sewing and I don't want to gunk up my needle. So, there we go. All right, so I'm going to turn the camera off, go get that stitching done, and I will be right back, guys. All right, I'm back, and I'm a little disappointed because I don't know what why my sewing machine did this little jagged part on these two arrows. I don't like how that looks. This one will probably be covered up, but that one is not going to be. So it is what it is. I'm not going to stress about it. Um, maybe I can cover it up with something. Otherwise, I'm just not going to worry about it. So let's go ahead and get these put down. I can't worry about all that little stuff, right? It just is what it is. Whoops. And that sometimes I think as scrapbookers, we obsess about things that in the end don't really matter, right? How do I want these? I kind of want them a little bit cattywampus, but not maybe like that. There we go. I don't want them straight because we have so much straightness going on here. I do not want them straight. And I want to put that flower in the middle there. Thinking like something like that. If you know me, I like to kind of place some things around before I commit. This is a camera I cut out from the specialty sheet from the new Chamel collection. Oh my goodness. I love this specialty sheet. I honestly did not get any of the Chamel collection because it's a little bit juvenile for me, but that was perfect. Um, so that makes me super happy. I'm looking in here to see if there's any like little washi strips or something to put up there and I don't see anything. So we're going to just go ahead and grab something from, um, from the, uh, paper. I like this green. So I'm going to just cut a little strip of the green to put up here. just to put a little bit of an embellishment cluster up at the top. Oh. Okay, and then this is gonna go there. Thought about popping these up, but there's so many little pieces that I had to fussy cut around that I kind of felt like in the end, hmm, I didn't want to. And I'll glue these little bits down later. And we can kind of put the camera in here maybe. I'm not sure. We've got lots of embellishments to look through. So we will be layering up lots of embellishments, but let's get our main stuff down. Just like that. And I thought about sprinkling some of these, I fussy cut some of these just little small flowers and I thought about just sprinkling them down the page. We're gonna let them sit there and see what we think. Um, I don't know if I'll end up uh, doing that or not. These are some of the puffy stickers and I think good times would be cute. Maybe I can use that to cover. Let's let that sit there for a minute. That could possibly cover up my mistake right there. So let's let that kind of hang out. We've got these hearts 
um, which are really not part of the um, color palette we've got going, but I kind of like the pop of them. And since this is a birthday celebration, like why not having a little heart, right? Let's see. We're just gonna let stuff sit. I never really commit until the very end. And the one thing I like about things not being too sticky is I can change my mind. Those hearts are kind of big, so I'm not sure. I don't think I wanna put it up here. It's too big for this cluster. I don't mind it here, but it's too big for the cluster at the top. And I have this cupcake that might be cute since it is her birthday. We will have to fill something in there or move the um, camera up, but let's see what else we have. Well, I could put this heart. This is not quite as big. And that can fill in that space a little bit. That's it. Let's see what else we have. Oh, look, I could have used one of these washi strips. Hmm, that's all right. I already got the green up there. That's fine. This little piece. Wonder about putting something like this underneath the photo down here. I don't know, we might take this off, I'm not sure. We might not need all of this. But this is also an older collection, so I don't mind like using stuff up. Mm, I don't like that. It looks like fingers coming down off the photos. We're not gonna use those. Those can go with something else. Okay, take those off. Um, let's see, here's another cupcake. Put that down here, possibly. And then on the puffy sticker, I saw this hooray. Do I want to do hooray, good times, hooray, or maybe put hooray up here? That's kind of cute. Let's do that. It's just, I'm not sure where, but I like that up there. I love that this is not a birthday collection, but definitely this can be used as birthday, or, you know, for a birthday. So I love that. All right, let's see what else we've got. I also have the puffy stickers. So let's see what we've got in here. And do we want to use these flowers? I've got them there. I'm going to take them off and see what I think with them off. They might be a distraction, so I may not want them there. So far, I'm really, really liking the design. Um, I only have two clusters. I don't think you have to have three clusters all the time, but do I want something small down here? I might, so we'll see. Um, where are those stickers? So let's just see what would happen if I put that there and then built something here. Oh, I still need the title. So where do I want to put the title? Okay, I've got a couple options. I could do birthday love and that I, this is from a simple stories collection. And I thought I could put that there and then put birthday love in like tile stickers or something. Or I could do 
somewhere live love laugh so there's this option of birthday love or let's cut this out and this is from an old um old uh what is it Maggie Holmes so there's live laugh love if I do that I'm gonna want to put something here I'm gonna have to build up something there mm, I wish I was on here live and I could ask you guys but I'm not so I'm gonna have to figure it out on my own I love this this has a little blue heart so we're gonna probably put this somewhere I'm gonna sit it up there for now and then this pink heart will work somewhere as well I'm gonna set it over here this is not from this collection but it definitely works out very nicely the yellow not so much so I'm not gonna really worry about the yellow yellow doesn't really go all right so do i do live laugh love or i could do it across i love cutting apart my titles like this and then um playing with them live laugh love live laugh love hmm This is turning out to be more challenging than I expected, guys. I might have to take a minute and um, and see what to do. Because I feel like if I want to do a cluster down here, I should probably do a small floral to kind of bring it all together. And if that's the case... I could do a small floral here and then just do live, laugh, love across the bottom. So if I'm, I might put you on, um, I might come back in a moment and fussy cut one more floral and then see what we think. If we want to do a floral here or if I want to do a larger title with the love here. I'm kind of liking live, laugh, love. Um, a little bit. So I'm going to put you on hold for a moment again and come back and we'll figure this out. Okay, I fussy cut this little guy and I like it. So we're going to go ahead and leave this strip here that we put this little sticker and get some glue on this guy. I'm not going to glue down the edges yet because I might want to um, stick something like in between. But we're going to put that here. And then let's glue our live, love, laugh. Live, laugh, love, I guess. I'm going to do it. Nice having this grid paper because I can do it right across the line. I am loving how this is turning out. And look at, so excited I was able to cover up my mistakes. That's the best when we can do that. So um, check out the My Little Scrapbook Store online crops link below. It is not too late to go join and um, start completing these challenges, guys. You can win prizes for each challenge. There are 25 challenges. Um, and you can go back and you can watch the lives. Um, we had lots of designer lives. As I said in my first video, I'm doing this series because I, oh my goodness, there it is. Because I was out of town with my mom celebrating her birthday and I um, could not participate in most of the lives. So I decided to do the series or in most of the challenges and stuff. So I decided to participate or start this series so that I can work my way through the challenges. That's what we're doing today. 
Now let's build this cluster. Can maybe do heart. like that and then we can bring that cupcake down here because I have a little cupcake here I think yeah this is perfect um, little cupcake there wonderful and then hmm I do have the blue heart I have another one of the blue hearts I might go ahead and use that down here. I'm going to have to go back and glue that probably. I'm not going to use these little flowers that I fussy cut. I really think they're just going to make things too busy. So we're going to go ahead and forget about that. But it was an option. Um, I'm going to go back and glue all of this down. What else can I add? Or do we need anything else? Um, let's see. I love the camera up here. I do have a little puffy camera that I could incorporate somewhere if I needed to. Maybe there. That's cute. Down at the bottom. And don't think we need the leaves. I love just the use of the cupcakes since it's a birthday celebration. Um, honestly, y'all, I don't think I'm going to do anything else. I think I am really loving it where it is now. Um, I will link anything that is available in the shop below. Since these are very old products, I don't know that there will be anything available, but if there is, I will link it below for sure. And I would love for you to comment and like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, and just say hello. Um, I'm working on trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. So if you are not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. I will be doing a giveaway for uh, once I hit 2,000. And uh, check out all the links below. And if you are new to my little scrapbook store and you've never made a purchase there before, um, you can use my code. It's T-I-S-A-R-E-F. And that will save you 10% on your entire order. So check that out as well. All the links will be below and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks guys.